What's going on, America? I'm the right-winged angel out of a Mac, and in this video, we got to talk about this Juneteenth banner that went up in Greenville, South Carolina, that's facing a ton of backlash right now. Do you know why? Because it has white people on it. Let's check this out. Thank you, Rashad. Uh, only on four. Juneteenth Greenville has already begun setting up for its second annual celebration to commemorate the end of slavery in the United States. WYFF News 4 has received several messages about these banners that are hanging in downtown Greenville. So we went straight to the source for you. The founder and executive director of Juneteenth, Reuben Hayes, says he approved a series of 50 banners to represent unity and celebration. The signs went up this Sunday. He and his co-founders say there are many ethnicities represented, black, Hispanic, and white, noting the city of Greenville did not do anything to steer Juneteenth Greenville's decision making in a specific direction. Juneteenth Greenville says they understand why some people may be triggered, but there should be an even bigger focus. The, the images on the flag um, were very intentional, and it, it was intentional for the fact that no matter what you want to do, it takes everybody to come together and to support and to push any vision forward. And we have for so long been asking for a seat at the table. We have been knocking at the door, include us. And now that we have a seat at the table, the last thing we want to do is what been done to us for years is exclude. We've been excluded. I agree 100%. Shout out to that brother right there. I think he made an excellent point. But of course, you have a lot of racist black people that don't want to see white people anywhere near anything that has anything to do with Juneteenth because black people believe that Juneteenth is their holiday and nobody else should be able to celebrate it. Even though, let, let me make this, this point here that if it wasn't for white people, there would be no Juneteenth. If it wasn't for white people, slavery would have never ended. So why can't white people celebrate with black people? Because there are hundreds of thousands of white people who lost their lives during the Civil War that ended slavery. So think about that for a second. Black people want to exclude white people from Juneteenth celebrations. I don't know if you remember this, but when Walmart put out Juneteenth plates and cups and different decorations, they had to take them down because they received so much backlash from the black community that said that, no, you shouldn't be making any money off this. No, you shouldn't have these decorations up because this is for us. This is our holiday. If we want decorations, we're going to make them our ourselves and sell them to each other. That's what a lot of black people believe. But I mean, it's, it's a community holiday. It's a holiday that should be celebrated by everyone because America righted its wrong on Juneteenth. And everyone should be proud of what America was able to do during that time in our history. But of course, a lot of black people believe that America is this racist country that is irredeemable. There's nothing that America can do to right its wrong for slavery, for Jim Crow, and for all these other things. And I totally disagree with that because God teaches us about forgiveness, right? And if you can't forgive America for what happened in the past, even though America has done everything in its power to right its wrong, besides maybe reparations, which I know a lot of black people want, but let's be realistic. There's no way for them to do that. Besides that, America has done everything to try to rectify the things that have happened in the past, but it's never enough for certain people. So I showed you their response. I want you to see what some people have been saying about just having white people on the banner. Now, now they've used a lot of different races to represent this Juneteenth celebration. They've used Hispanic people, they've used black people, they use white people. So that was just one banner out of many banners that they use. But the black supremacists out there, they don't want to see white people on the banner because they don't believe white people should be a part of any Juneteenth celebration. I'll tell you this for me, I'm a black person, so I think I have a right to do this. If you're a white person and you want to celebrate Juneteenth, 
go right ahead and do it. If you want to have a Juneteenth barbecue, whatever, go right ahead and do it. I don't care. And nobody else should care either because it's America's holiday. It's a federal holiday. There are a lot of white people who are going to be off from work on Juneteenth. So celebrate. Do whatever you want to do. If you don't want to celebrate, that's cool too. But to say that people are restricting white people from celebrating a holiday, that's ridiculous in my opinion. But let's see what some people said. Check this out. Welcome to South Carolina where black people are played by white actors. Now, why do they have to be black people played by white actors? Why can't this just be white people who are on a banner that celebrates Juneteenth, which is what it is, right? They believe that Juneteenth is only for black people. It's not. Let's check out another one. So to be clear, Juneteenth is not a story of unity as South Carolina flyer implies. It's a story of black people fighting for their freedom and the white people reluctant to deliver it promptly. Celebrating Juneteenth is about, I don't know what else it said, but that's it. But so they said that it's not about unity, right? It's not about the fact that our country, there were people who fought in this country and died to free black people from slavery. It's not about that. Right. It's about white people's reluctance to give us our freedom. What people fail to realize, these Wokies, what they fail to realize is slavery was an atrocity that was going on all around the world. Right. America didn't start slavery. Guess what? We inherited slavery and it took us about 80 some odd years to end it. So when people talk about 400 years of slavery in America, that's not actually true. The United States of America only had slavery for about 80 something years. So don't talk about what happened before we became a nation, before we became the country we are today, because guess what? Great Britain, this was, this was Great Britain territory before that. So Great Britain had slavery for all those years before and when we became a nation we inherited it we inherited slavery so don't tell me anything about 400 years it wasn't 400 years juneteenth is going to be lit in south carolina so you have all these people dressed in kkk garbs with daishiki type african patterns on it okay so basically you're saying that just because white people on a banner for a Juneteenth celebration, then it's gonna be like the KKK. These, do these people believe that every white person is a member of the KKK? I have no idea, but it's just crazy to see stuff like this. All right, and this is from Daily Beast. A cringeworthy banner for a Juneteenth celebration in South Carolina has gone viral for a strange decision to use white models for a black holiday. Okay, Daily Beast, if Juneteenth is a black holiday, why is everybody off from work? Why do white people get to take off from work? Why is it a federal holiday if it's only a black holiday? Tell me that. I'm sure people at the Daily Beast, people who read the Daily Beast who are white, are going to be off for the holiday. Should you not take off? Should you say that, well, since I've been given a day off for Juneteenth and I'm not black, because it's a black holiday, I'm going to give my day off to a black person so they can have an extra day off. And I'm going to work while they're off. Are they going to do that? Of course not. So how do you consider Juneteenth a black holiday? It is not a black holiday. It is a holiday that can be celebrated by anybody in this country because it is a federal holiday commemorating the day that the people of Galveston, which was, I believe, the last uh, region to be delivered the message that slavery was over. So it's actually a Texas holiday, to, to be totally honest with you. It's not really a holiday for the, the United States of America as a Texas holiday. But I get it that this could be the day that commemorates the end of slavery. And that's fine. Nobody has a problem with that. I believe that slavery was a great atrocity in the United States of America, but it wasn't something that we started. It was something that we inherited and then we ended it. 
right? We ended it. We ended it. We were one of the first countries to end slavery. So that's something to be proud of and not something to be proud of is just, oh, well, black people should celebrate it. Everyone should celebrate it because slavery was, was gross. It was a horrible thing. People had to work in the harshest conditions. People were beaten. People were killed and sold and traded as property. That's disgusting. So I get that we should be celebrating the end of that atrocity and everybody should celebrate it. Juneteenth is not a black holiday. It is an American holiday and all Americans should celebrate it no matter what your race is because our country righted a horrible wrong that we inherited from Great Britain. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.